Hello world, it is me Natasha Randolph or you may know me as Psychic Medium Natasha and in today's video I wanted to talk about meditation as a practice. I want to talk about specifically how can you start your meditation practice regardless of where you are in your spiritual journey as well as um, how can you add or incorporate to your spiritual practice? Well, your meditation spiritual practice. Um, I find that I'm constantly answering similar questions about this subject. So I just wanted to dedicate a specific video about this for you guys. I feel that a lot of people have a, a lot of misconceptions about meditation. They think it's just one way, one kind of way to meditate and they feel that if you can't accomplish that or if it doesn't work or click or resonate then you just get, can't meditate and that's simply not true so if you want to learn more um, about how to start your practice and how to add and incorporate to your meditation practice then feel free to keep watching um, that being said I'll do my absolute best to speak as clearly and simply as I can about this, take away the fluff. Um, if you, you may absolutely check out the description box of this video. I'm going to have some resources, um, as well as my contact information. So if you guys have any, you know, want to do more reading about this, or if you want to contact me, um, and a to answer your questions, you may absolutely do so. But you may also comment down below as well if you have any questions. But let's get right into this. Let's get right into um, meditation. So I want to first say off, if it wasn't obvious already, there is more than one way to meditate. So that being said, if one way, one method, one tradition is not working for you, it just doesn't click, it doesn't resonate, then don't feel bad. Don't try to squeeze yourself into a box because um, there's more than one way to go about it. So just allow yourself to explore and to, you know, through trial and error to see what does feel right, what does click, what does work. And don't feel ashamed about it because I think a lot of people are wanting to meditate to see the benefits, but they don't know how to go about it. So we're going to discuss the benefits of meditation, um, some reasons why people may choose to meditate, and we're going to talk about the different types of meditation practices, as well as some tips um, for you guys. So meditation benefits. Um, and a simplistic, basic, clear way for me to describe it, because depending on what type of meditation practice you're doing, um, they could have very specific benefits that may be intended for that type of meditation practice. But to speak generally, meditation is really great for you to connect with yourself. It's a great way for you to bring, uh, to promote peace within yourself. It's a great way for you to have more awareness for self. It's a great way for you to build your own focus and concentration and your attention span. Um, yeah, so why are some reasons why people may choose to meditate? People know that it's good, but what's the point? Like, what's the aim is, is usually what people ask me. So, um, I'm going to say there's three top reasons or three main reasons why people may choose to meditate. It's not limited to these reasons by any means, but it's just usually, um, I'll hear one of the three. Okay, so um, you may choose to meditate so that you can connect with yourself. And what I mean by that is you could choose to connect with any aspect of who you are, whether it be your inner child, um, your shadow self, your ego, or your higher self. Some people may choose to meditate to connect with those parts of themselves so that they can gain perspective or healing through that. Some people may choose to meditate so that they can simply receive intuitive downloads. So this could be like um, receiving signs or information or visions from spirit or source. 
And another reason why people may choose to meditate is they may choose to meditate with a very specific focused intention, which means you're choosing to meditate with something very specific in your mind, um, usually so that you can either um, process what that is, or you can maybe release it, you can attune with what that is, um, or you could receive. So those are usually the top three reasons why I see people wa are wanting to meditate, but it's definitely not limited to those reasons. There's different types of meditation. That being said, I think we should talk about the different types of meditation, and then we'll move along to some tips um, for meditation as a practice, okay? I think it will benefit everyone if they can understand the different types of meditation. So if one way um, is just feeling kind of stale or stagnant, or you may just want to switch it up, you may absolutely do so. So that being said, um, I just ask of you to keep an open mind and um, who knows, maybe you tried one of these before, or maybe you would like to try one of one of the new ones. So just um, use your own discernment and your own logic and your own intuition to be able to determine what will actually click or resonate or work with you. But normally it's going to be a trial and error thing. You may need to try it to see if it resonates with you. I do recommend keeping a journal when you meditate, but we'll go more in depth about tips for meditation. But let's talk about the different types because there's more than one way, okay? Mindful meditation is the first one, okay? Mindful meditation is basically where you are sitting with yourself and you're keeping an open mind. You're allowing your thoughts to come up to the surface and you're allowing them to pass by. Like you're allowing your thoughts basically to run free in your mind. And instead of trying to stop them or ignore them, um, you're basically just allow you're not you're not allowing yourself to become stuck on them. You're not judging your thoughts. You're just choosing to observe and to process um or and notice patterns that that do come up. That's the basic reason um to simply put it for mindful meditation. You're meditating to allow these thoughts to run wild um and you're not Again, you're not you're not adding to the thoughts. You're not allowing yourself to engage in them. You're not allowing yourself to become stuck in them. You're just simply observing what is going on in your mind and you're just running down patterns. You're not doing anything um, more. That That's basically what mindful meditation is. I think it could be very powerful um, when you're doing your shadow work and things like that, but it does take some... Um, it, it may you may have to allow yourself to um, disconnect to not be so personal when you're allowing these thoughts to come up because a lot of people when they do um, meditation they think you have to stop your thoughts but for this specific meditation you want your thoughts to occur as they would normally um, and instead of trying to stop them you're just noticing the patterns and taking notice okay the next type of meditation is spiritual meditation. So spiritual meditation is so diverse because the world is diverse with its spiritual and religious practices and traditions. So that being said, um, spiritual meditation is diverse. There's no one way to go about it, but it's basically um, a, a, med a meditation practice to where you can develop a deeper understanding um, of your own spiritual or religious meaning um, and usually connecting to some form of higher power. So this could be um, a god or a goddess, a deity, um, things like that. So spiritual meditation could be, you know, you meditating sp specific on connecting with that deity or it could be you reading something about that deity or about your spiritual practice or about what they represent and you're focusing on that. So it's about you meditating to get a deeper understanding um, spiritually of where you are in your life and in your practice, as well as you to usually connect with that deity or with that spiritual or religious um, 
understanding and practice. So that's why I say it's so diverse. Um, usually when I see pagans and intuitives and mystics and witches doing spiritual meditation, it's usually for them to connect with their deity um, and, the, and for them to gain perhaps more um, and to have intuitive downloads specific to their work with that deity. But it's not, it's something so diverse, you can't just fit anything into a box with that. So spiritual meditation is literally you going into meditation to go in depth with your spiritual or religious um, way and for you to connect deeper with that, okay? Okay, so the next type of meditation is focused uh, meditation. Um, it usually involves concentrating on your physical senses. Um, and if your mind does wander, you would simply just come back to the practice and refocus. So this could be something as simple as like counting um, mala beads, um, you listening to like a specific, um, like, like maybe a gong or a tuning fork or singing bowls. Um, you could be staring um, at a candle flame, counting your breaths. Um, you could do moon gazing. So focus meditation is literally you focusing on something specific, but you're allowing your physical senses to ground you and to, um, and to, and to, and to peak your um, awareness. So um, focus meditation does not have to necessarily be you closing your eyes and doing all that. Um, so there's different ways to go about it. I, I encourage you to explore if you do choose to do focus meditation because again, you're utilizing your five senses for this. So um, yeah, I, but, look, but the common ways I'd say it's like usually you're connecting to um, maybe something you're physically counting or touching or rubbing. Um, maybe you're listening to something, maybe you're staring at something specific, maybe you're are counting the breaths, doing the breath work, or maybe you're gazing at the moon. So um, yeah, those are some examples of the focus meditation. The next type of meditation is movement meditation, which is actually one of my favorite ways to meditate. Um, it's an active form of meditation for sure. Um, it's basically your you have no attachment to movement. Um, you're generally allowing your body to guide you with the movements. You're not, you're not trying to think of the steps and the movements. You're literally being guided and you're in the present moment with movement. So this could be technically dancing or walking, um, running, gardening, um, Qigong, Tai Chi, um, or even coloring. So you're literally, you, you're basically, you're meditating, but you're incorporating movement. You're allowing the movement to keep you present, to keep you here, um, and to just simply be in the moment, to feel, be, or express. Um, it's a, so I like movement meditation so much because regardless of what has happened the day before, or what just happened, or, you know, like, it's a great way for you to get out of your mind and to be focused on what you're fit on what you're physically doing and allowing yourself to be lost into that. So I find that movement meditation could be very healing. Um, it definitely was for me. Um, but yeah, I like to use movement meditation with dancing um, and also walking. And I will just allow my body to just do what it wants to. And sometimes I can receive downloads that way or, you know, and I can hear and other things, but um, that's, that's what m movement meditation basically is. Okay, the next type of meditation is mantra meditation. So this is basically where you're meditating and you're using a repetitive sound um, that is clear and you're focusing on that within the mind so this could be a word or a phrase um or a or a specific sound and you're you're saying this either out loud or quietly within your mind and you're focusing on that again and again and again so um it can literally be any word or phrase or sound and you're just meditating focusing on that I think uh, mantra meditation could be very powerful for when you're trying to attune um, yourself or when you're trying to maybe um, 
project your desires and affirmations into the world, especially if you're trying to manifest. So I think that could be a very powerful way to go about that is with a uh, mantra meditation. Okay, the next type of meditation is transcendental meditation. I don't personally practice this, but I will talk about it. Um, transcendental meditation, it, it's a very specific meditation practice where um, it's basically meant to quiet your mind and help bring peace within you. Um, and it does involve using the use of mantra, um, but it's best taught specifically by a certified um, transcendental meditation pract practitioner. So not everyone can just do this and teach this. Um, you do have to go to someone who's certified to get the full on experience, um, in my opinion. So um, I feel like this might be... I guess intermediate like it's not something that as is as simple as the other meditation practices but I wanted to speak of it in case it's something one of you guys may have clicked with okay okay body scan meditation okay so this is a very powerful meditation practice I feel um so body scan meditation is basically where you are meditating and you're focusing on re on reducing the tension within the physical body um, to promote relaxation for yourself. Um, oftentimes, it may involve slowly tightening and relaxing um, one muscle group at a time within the body. Um, and this is really great for body awareness and relaxation. So... Um, Body scan meditation, you're literally focusing on different parts of the body, focusing on if there's tension, tightness, um, all of that. And you're allowing yourself to control the muscle with uh, with tension and, and releasing. So um, I think this could be a very powerful way to locate specific um, physical blockages within the body and allowing yourself to release that through body scan meditation. It's a great way for you to reconnect with yourself and be aware of where those spots may be. Um, but yeah, that's that's a great way of uh, body scan meditation. It's a great way, especially if, if you have a lot, if you have a lot of physical blockages within your body, um, where your energy is just so stagged, so built up that it's just so physical now, I really recommend the body scan meditation for you. Okay, loving kindness meditation is the next one. So this is this meditation practice involves being very open in the mind. And you're basically focusing on receiving love from others and sending love to them. So this technique is focused on your heart center, your heart chakra, and you're sending and receiving love on the heart center. Um, and, and you're focusing on sending and receiving this with love and gratitude and compassion. So um, you could be meditating on focusing on a very specific person. I could have a someone's, like I can have a face in my mind of who I wanna give love to. And I can just um, focus on visualizing me sending them um, specific loving thoughts or words um, or emotions to them that is focused within gratitude, love, and compassion for them, or even forgiveness. So this is, this doesn't have to be done out loud. It could be absolutely within the mind, but that's the focus of it, is the giving and receiving love. And I think this could be very powerful when you are trying to have forgiveness within yourself, or whenever you're trying to give forgiveness or compassion to someone else especially if you have cut cords or they're toxic and you and it may not be healthy to see them physically i think this could be a very powerful technique okay the next one is visualization meditation um this meditation practice does involve basically imagining or envisioning um a scene vividly and you're using all of your senses to add as much detail to this experience so it's very powerful for vi visualization meditation I feel is very powerful for manifesting and for reprogramming your mindset so me visualization meditation is literally you 
are visualizing, you're envisioning within your mind very um, specific things. It could be a scene, it could be something that you want to happen, um, something you want to happen, something that you want to reprogram for you to believe. So you can be envisioning or visualizing, imagining so many various things, but that's the focus of what um, visualization meditation is. It definitely works it definitely focuses on your third eye. So if you do want to have a, a meditation practice that is specific for the third eye, I do recommend visualization meditation because that will help you develop that clear sense, that clairvoyance. And the last type of meditation, um, the type of meditation we'll talk about before the tips for your spiritual um, meditation practice is guided meditation. And it's quite literally what you think it is from the name. It's a meditation practice where you are literally being guided for the experience um, of the meditation experience by someone else. So um, typically the guide can choose what type of meditation it is. It's not one type. It's just, it's just, it's literally someone else is guiding you to meditate so that you're not alone doing it. Um, this could be very helpful if you have trouble, you know, starting to meditate by yourself. Um, there's different types of guided meditations because there's different types of meditation. It's literally just someone assisting you or helping you um, with the experience of it. Okay. So that being said, we just talked about the different types of meditation practices. Now I want to go into depth about some tips on how you can get started to start your own meditation practice. So I always say wear comfortable clothing. Um, you can go the extra mile and wear like special like clothing that is specific for, you know, I'm only going to wear this for when I meditate. You absolutely can, but just generally just be comfortable. Um, you don't want to be in the middle of your meditation and then you're thinking about, man, my, you know, I, I feel itchy in these, in these pants or whatever. Like, you know, you want to be comfortable as well. Okay. Um, the next step is you want to create a sacred space for yourself in a quiet room. When you're meditating, um, it is a full on experience. You know, you want to create the, um, the ambiance you want to create the scene so if you want to you know add incense or burn candles or make it all cozy for you play special music that will help you relax or tune in or maybe it's frequency music it's it you you want to create a space for yourself to where you feel that you can fully go within yourself or to connect or whatever like you want to be able to have a space to where you can fully just focus on the practice at hand. So some people may find that they want to cleanse, they want to physically clean the clutter, they want to physically cleanse the space and then make it, you know, spiritual, make it resonate with them. So do with that as you will, but creating sacred space is basically you making the space your own. Um, I do recommend energetically cleansing the space, whether that's smoke cleanse or sound or Florida water, whatever, but, um, at least try to cleanse before you go right on in with meditating, but definitely try to make the space your own as well. Okay. Um, the next step is, well, the next tip is concentrating on body parts, becoming individually relaxed. So I find that when you're trying to meditate, it may help if you try to focus, you know, from head to toe, your body just relax relaxing you're releasing tension you're allowing yourself to become you know um relaxed in a fixed position where you can just you know focus on what's happening in here or within your body so um this generally helps you center and ground yourself and to release the muscle tension so that you can actually do the meditation so just allow your you know allow your your body to become relaxed okay the next tip is you want to be aware of your thoughts, but do not get stuck on them. And I did previously speak about this briefly with one of the meditation practices, I believe it was the mindful meditation. But generally speaking, when you're meditating, don't try to stop the thoughts from coming. Like, you're not your thoughts, but you want to be aware of what you are tolerating or engaging or associating with. 
So allow yourself to be present, to process, to be aware of what is, you know, coming in in your mind and notice, you know, does, do I want to connect with this? Should, should I release this out of my being? Just be aware of what's coming to you and do with that which you will, but you, you want to be present. You want to process these things. The next um, tip for meditation is allow yourself to receive and feel. I know this is something that may sound, you know, like common sense, but I find a lot of people don't really think about this either, is, you know, meditation is about reconnecting with yourself and fully being in the re experience and to receive. Um, so allow yourself to be in the experience. Don't allow yourself to expect anything. Just allow yourself to feel, be an experience. Um, and if you wanna have something specific in your mind and you can, but just you want to allow yourself to, to have the experience. Um, so allow yourself to just be present and allow what is to come or what is to happen to happen. And then you may journal or take note of that or do further work from that, from what you will. Um, but yes, do not expect an ex experience, allow things to just happen. And you may find further meanings down the road, especially if you do get intuitive downloads like I do with meditation, write down what comes to mind or what you experience and you may find a deeper or decipher the meaning or sign completely and then you can find more of the in-depth meaning of that. Okay, and my other tip is when you are finally accustomed to meditation as a practice within itself, add to this, like, you know, add binaural beats or frequency music. Um, you can add crystals all beside you to add, you know, to the experience. Maybe you can add incense, essential oils, um, you could have herbs, fresh, dried, or burned um, to enhance or to alter the experience. So um, that's another way, besides switching up the practice within itself, you can just add to it to, again, enhance or alter meditation within itself. So if you like the way you're going about meditation, but it just you want to add something to it, let it be sound, you know, music. Let it be crystals or incense, oils. You know, um, you can use a copper pyramid for meditating. You know, you can wear specific jewelry. So um, don't be afraid to switch it up. And that is my actually my last tip um, for this is don't be afraid to switch it up. Um, you know, if, if your meditation practice, you know, you've been doing it one way and it's just not working, maybe it's time you tried a different way and method to gain a new perspective or to gain different results. You know, it's literally is insane to do something one way again and again and expect something different. So just don't be afraid to try out some different meditation techniques feel free to add crystals or music or different various things to the practice itself to enhance or alter it um you can drink tea beforehand and different things like there's so many different ways but feel free to make meditation your own meditation should be something that we do daily and you can work your you know, your tolerance up to it. You know, you can meditate for like five or 10 minutes a day and eventually work up to 30 minutes or an hour or, or whatever you want it to be. I believe meditation is very personal to us all. And I feel that we all should be engaging into it, but we don't need to all do it one way. Um, so I hope this video was helpful to you all. I'm going to leave um, reference material and contact information in the description box for you guys. I hope that helps. But um, blessed be you guys.